Every horse will have to change their shoes every month. <laughs> Pumbil update, you have new chickens. American silky chicken. Cute, classy. Where's the ice? Can I see? Oh, there! Oh my god! So there's a secret compartment where you breed these chickens? Yes. How's the eggs? They haven't given much eggs yet. They're still young. Can you eat them? Can yeah, Chicken one. These are just some trials before we do like large. Hello. The turkey's there. Having some fun. They're gonna be changing some shoes. Oh, this is a pregnant horse. You'll get a baby in a week. <laughs> Protective. Do not know male or female yet, but I hope it's a female. Why having a female horse is better? Then I can produce the female. So you can give birth. Oh, horses. Do you ever eat the horse? You can eat horse meat, yes, but I don't have the heart to do it yet. Horses, the bone is different. In our religion, is if you put them to work, then you cannot be eating the meat. Video that you did feature oh, the farm know. and all that. There was some response from there. Actually, sign up. Eight coming three years, you'll get 128 coming. Oh, so that's the projected around. Right. Mm, around there, projected lah. Oh, that's crazy. How many percent of that? It's like average minimum. So some coming can brown at tiga, then twice a year. We get three places today. That's like 200 percent. How many do you close? From your side, I think maybe about 10. Their capital is ranging from 15 to 30. Hmm, the age range? 20 plus to early 30. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, look at him. Every horse will have to change their shoes every month. How much does it take to maintain a horse? About 1,000, 5 to 1,000. That's inclusive of food, grooming and all that. Let's say this baby is going to be born. So how much can I buy a horse like that baby? Depends on the baby's conformity and all that. Right? See how well he grows up to become a horse. But usually like a newborn like that, maybe about 4,000. Full grown adult? The purpose of the horse is if it's a stallion, good start. Is it a female for your breeding? Oh. And the price is different. Depends on the purpose and the market. Like. And the prices just go up, 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 up. So many types of horses. Yeah. Welcome to Alia Race Farm. Where does the name come from? My mother in law wanted to do like a retirement plan having a farm and all that name is alia so in honor of her name alia means the purest risk is sustenance somebody together is the purest form of sustenance sheep. this is a sheep tell me how you take care of them when they come into the farm they are properly quarantined health checks vaccines must be in place these are all shared clean sheep basically when you want to do data to make sure the animals are forming to a certain target that you want to have like a certain size certain value to it so we have to make sure that you get a good male start a good female use you can see they like to do such things it means they like to breed if they like to breed means having good food clean place so stocking density, everybody in this place feels like they're at home and happy. Then we get good babies. So 15,000 for 8 sheep. So over the course of 3 years, I would have probably 128 sheep. Yeah. What's the best use of that 128 sheep? I would recommend some of it converted to become breed stock so that you continuously have some income. For 64, you can sell for kurban, you can sell for akika. So what's the markup usually for kurban? In Malaysia, it is about 850 ringgit. Margin is about 30 to 40%. Per sheep, you get 400 ringgit. So it means 400 times 64. So 5,000? Yeah, 5,000. Go and invest in a bank. How much should the bank give you? 2 to 3%. The savings account. You put in a fixed deposit, probably slightly higher. If you want to buy stocks, you got to understand the market's demands and its fluctuations. You don't get to see what you're investing in. Here, you get to see them grow. You get to count. Market never gets cheaper. It's more and more expensive. The demand gets higher. Especially for us in our religion. Every time when you give birth to a boy, you need to slaughter two sheep. That's Akika. Have a daughter, slaughter one sheep. So every time somebody is born, you need sheep. Every year, if you are a Muslim, you are able to afford it. Necessary for you to do kurban. This is someone's investment. So how much was parked here? About 30,000. A total of 16 sheep. That's a few months ago. I look at how many babies they have now. 5, 6, 7, 11, 12, in less than 6 months. Look at this guy. He's about to give birth soon. See the brown one? Just give birth. This white one? They're about to give birth soon. So you're going to have at least about 20 coming up from this flock. Simple as that. Very fast. And the video that I did back then garnered about how many leads? 40, 50 have one. Then they get to see the returns. Maintenance for one sheep for their food is $8. 8 months old before you can sell. Medical is $40 for the first year only. We have herbs and all that to medicate them. We don't really use chemical medication. I don't restrict any of the information that you need to know. I am an advocate for people who want to come into this industry to expand this further. It is fine industry that is an evergreen industry. And of course, you get to see a lot of happy, cute sheep mm. just for you but for your kids to also enjoy. I have triplets, actual triplet boys. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, they keep telling me, Papa, go far, Papa, go farm. Kids love animals from when they are young. Prefer for them to actually experience the farm life, in tune with nature. But just do it. See how excited they are. They see a truck of food coming. They have food here. It's what they leave behind. Don't like this. Ah, try. When a new batch of food comes in, we mix it together with this so they get to eat it again. Flavors and all that comes in. You know how to differentiate between a goat and a sheep? No idea. Not the horns. Look at this. Sheep or goat? Are they sheep? This is a goat. All of the tail is goats. Look at the sheep. The tails are down, they are sheep. So what's this actually? You can take it, process, palm. Together with soya. They just eat it right away. They love the soya. How much milk you want to drink? They have Oreos. You can get what you want. Uh, but downstairs. Oh no, man. <laughs> It's so nice, man. We bring some live animals to Singapore this year. So this korban only in Singapore, is it? No, we are in Indonesia, Malaysia, Africa, Saudi, Yemen, Syria. How do you as a business acquire these businesses in other countries? We network a lot. We meet a lot of farmers. Farmers who are struggling, find each generation to take over. We try to save them.
learn from that. We need a few people to be part of that business. So we acquire and continue. Is it hard to manage the business? It is hard. In these countries, wherever you are, you still have to go through the same process of finding that people are in the right things. So the passion that you're looking for in these people, these individuals who are working for you is very important. We like to do sales, go out and meet people. Be in a farm setting to fit the animal, they will be happy. So you get them to do what they love to do. Happy and passionate about it. It brings you good results. What are you looking for the farm right now? I'm looking for partners. So for example, programs for children. Create like a space for these children to have that kind of activities. That can be integrated with the farm. So you're looking for collaborations? Yeah. There's a lot of things that can be done because I've got so much more land here to work on. If you have people who can do things like the flying fox. Someone wants to install it here, you would want to? Of course. So the yeah. vision of the farm is actually more on the activity side, like a resort. Right. People come to the farm and experience all these activities. But at the heart of it all, you know that we are farmers. We really learn what is really going on in the agriculture sector. We need to be able to see what's going on in the farm. And then there's no fun to it. Who wants to come? Who says that you just need to be running a farm that you cannot have fun at the same time? Okay, where he's standing. We collaborated with this company called Sayo Keeper. Plant vegetables on hydroponics. These are so good. You can get the fresh vegetables, fresh sheep, turkeys even. Yes, they're coming. Apart from just collaborators, investors who's coming to grow their sheep with us, we also look for sponsors. Oh, I have this and I'm not really using it. I think your farm can use it. Or you can donate an outright donation here. We do have activities with the poor people and all that every other month. We have some sponsors who sponsor the horses' food. We also have some sponsors who sponsor as a truck. So let's say if I have 100,000, I can park it here. Of course you can. I mean, the 100,000 goes to where? Certain developments. Let's say mm -hmm. I want to develop like a fish pond. So whatever that comes out from there, can be something that is written back to the sponsor. And return you either get return of investment or return of sponsorship. And everybody who comes here, you get the mileage of whoever that sees you here. This is given by who. You like to be an example. Get the community to get involved in all of this because it's very, very important. I look forward to having people to collaborate with you. Why not? Thank you so much. Yeah, let's go.